From South Carolina to Florida, 14 Red Cross members from Oregon and southwest Washington are waiting out that storm tonight. Folks from Portland-based Mercy Corps are on the ground in Haiti where hundreds of folks have died. Now tonight, another local group is hoping that your kids will get involved in the relief efforts. They are the images of destruction. Strong winds and heavy rain battering the Florida coastline as Hurricane Matthew pushes north. Among those rushing to help, Patrick Kern of Salem. It's been a long three days with, with short nights in between. He's one of 14 local Red Cross members in three states. Tonight, he's in Augusta, Georgia, where thousands who couldn't leave on their own have been bused to in order to escape the storm. They began arriving about 5 p.m. tonight, and uh, at this point, there's been in the neighborhood of 85 school buses um, with persons being evacuated from Savannah. He says they are expecting another 20 buses still to come tonight. A few hundred miles away in Haiti, that country is trying to clean up what Matthew left behind. I know a lot of people are really interested in doing something to help, just like, you know, we did after the earthquake happened in 2010. For Portlander, Katie Matheny, she's hoping to get some young minds involved in the relief efforts there. She's the director of Encompass and spent time on the island nation helping Haiti recover after the 2010 quake. She's now looking for kids in the wake of... And what Kids Starter does is it takes kids ages 5 to 18 and pairs them with a mentor coach who can help them project plan and implement um, projects that will make an impact in somebody else's life. As this massive storm continues to barrel up the coast, the Northwest is sending all the help it can to help those riding out Hurricane Matthew. I'm grateful for the opportunity to come down and help these folks and, and I hope that their need for help is less than not greater. If you are interested in deploying with the Red Cross, they'll be holding several trainings throughout our region. If you're interested in that, we'll post the information on kptv.com.